Hey guys, what's going on? So a few weeks ago, I found out that you can actually message APRS or use APRS through JSA call. I thought this was super cool, so I wanted to look it up. And sure enough, yes, you can send SMS, email over APRS from JSA call. You can also send your grid location and you can send APRS messages as well. So I just wanna make a video real quick just to encompass how to do that as well as provide you a program that I've written a few days ago that will facilitate it. Now there are already a few applications that will do this for you. And it's because it's relatively simple. The, for example, the SMS string that you need to transmit with JSA call looks about like this right here. Or the email text looks about like this right here. So it's very simple format. And there's been a several programs that have been uh, developed and published simple Python applications or Perl that will allow you to type a message into the program and hit TX and it will send it over. I do have a couple problems with these applications and that's why I've written my own. The, the first problem I have with these applications is they all require external dependencies. Not all hands are super savvy. Not all of us know how to, to compile a program, even if it's simple, uh, to, to some people. Um, not all of us know how to get our hands dirty like that. Some of us just like to play radio. So I wanted to offer a solution that is just download and go. I published the source on GitHub and the link will be down below. I call it APRS call. And it also has an exe file for those on Windows who just want to download the program and run it. Very simple. All you have to do is select what type of message you'd like to send. You generate the string and you copy and paste it in JSA call. That's unlike some of these other programs where it actually has to attach to JSA call. And that brings me up to problem two that I have with these is those external dependencies also require certain versions of JSA call. When this is really a simple matter, we just have to copy and paste a string over into the program. So I just wanted something extremely basic that would run on any operating system that you need. And I'm gonna show you guys how to use it now and how to send emails, text messages, APRS and grid over JSA call. So let's go ahead and get into it. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the notification bell so you know when I upload and I'll see you guys on the computer. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just open up the link to the APRS call GitHub that I will link down below. And this contains the files that you need to run the program that I made. And if you don't wanna run the program I made, you can just format it with the text that you seen earlier and it'll be down in the description as well. Anyways, so this is my GitHub page for APRS call. There's only two important things that you need to know here. The main.py is the only source file to run the application. It's 83 lines in code, including spaces. So if you don't want to download the whole thing, you can quite literally just copy all this into a notepad and save it as whatever.py. If you're not tech savvy, that's why I've also included a build of the file right here called aprscall.exe. If you don't want to uh, download Python or you're not comfortable with a terminal or so on, all you have to do is just download this repository and you'll have the file there. So I'm gonna show you how to run it. You're just gonna pretty much go to this button here and you're gonna download the zip. And we're gonna save the file. And once the files are saved, you're going to have something called aprs-call-main.zip inside your downloads. So you're going to right-click that and extract or unzip whatever uh, zipping program you have. And once you have that, you're going to open this up and there's going to be a folder in here called dist. Now if you'd like to just run this and you're not interested in installing Python or looking at the source code, all you have to do is, is open the dist folder and there's a program here called aprs-call.exe. Now, most computers are probably gonna pick this up and say it's a virus because it's never been ran anywhere, and that's the way Windows functions these days. It's not, and if you're afraid it is, then just run it from the source code. But this is pretty much the program. It's very, very simple. You select what you would like to do. So we have SMS, email, grid, or just APRS. So if it's SMS, you're gonna type in, you're just gonna hit SMS, you're gonna do a, a phone number, including the one if you're in the US or whatever country code that you need. The content is just gonna be the message that you want like in the message. Once you're done, you just hit generate and it gives you a string. 
Same thing with email. The destination is going to be the email address. The content is going to be what you like in the email. Grid, all you need is your destination and, or content. Uh, just fill out both of these with the grid. Hit generate because I forget which one I coded it for. And APRS, the destination is going to be the call sign that you would like to send the message to. The content is the content of the message. You'll hit generate and it will give you the string for JSA call. So if you'd like to run this with Python, um, it's quite simple as well because there's no dependencies. You will need to open a terminal in the location of the file. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we are, our terminal is in our APRS call main folder. If I type in dir, it'll show me all of the files in this folder. And if I would like to run the main.py application, I would type in Python base main.py and APRS call opens up just as it did before, functions just the same, but you may see some debug messages I put in here in the terminal. Same thing, uh, that's how you get it running. There's no dependencies. It would run fine on a Raspberry Pi, Mac, Linux, Windows, whatever it be. There's, there's nothing there extra. So if you have an older version of Python, you might have to update or you might have to install the Tkinter library. But typically, Tkinter is built in with Python. So let's go ahead and close that out. Let's go ahead and just open up JSA call and I will show you how this works in practice. So we have JSA call open and we have the application APRS call. Now, like I said before, if you figure out the formatting, all you have to do is just paste your message in here and then hit uh, send. And that's as simple as that. But this application is made to make things a little easier on us. So let's start out simple. Let's send an SMS. Right now, as you can see in the waterfall, I have a S9 Noise 4. I have no idea why I have an S9 Noise 4. But we're going to see if we can at least get a message out. So I'm going to try to send a message to my cell phone. We'll do. And even though I'm sure you can find my cell phone number online at some point these days, I'm going to borrow that out. And for the message content, I'm going to type in test message. And we're going to hit generate. And all we have to do is highlight this and hit control C, which copies. And then we'll go over here and hit control V, which pastes. And we're going to hit the send button. And we're going to halt this in because we are not using the correct speakers. All right, our message sent, and hopefully we'll hear my phone go off here. And there it is. So, as you can see, I have received, as you can maybe see, you have, I have received the message. So, HF, straight to phone. Uh, well, there was HF, and then there was an the internet gateway, and then over to the phone. So, cool enough, right? Now, let's try sending our grid. Let's do that. And like I said, honestly, I don't remember which one of these was correct. But we're going to go ahead and put it in both. I guess we could find out like this. So, there it is. It has to be in the content. That's it. So we'll hit generate. Same thing. We're just going to copy paste. And we're going to send. Now I will go ahead and get APRS 5 pulled up so that we can see if I've reported any positions. And haha. -ha. Here we are. So obviously that grid is going to be the center of EM77, which might be a little broad. So we can actually just paste this in here and maybe add US to the end of it. Hit send and let's see if we can't narrow it down. All right, our message is sent. Let's go check APRS up fine, see if it has an updated position. And here we are, EM77US. So there is some weird data thing going on here because I'm sending Echo Mary 77 
but that's definitely not Echo Mary 77. So interestingly enough, Echo Mary 77 is on the eastern side of Kentucky, and that's nowhere near the western side of Kentucky that was reported here. So not sure if uh, there was a weird data mix up, but we transmitted a grid drive. I have no idea. One of you guys down might know down in the comments if you have any idea why that would happen, be sure to let me know. But let's demonstrate one more thing just by sending an email. So I'm going to send it to myself. And this is my public email that is on QRZ. Um, we'll generate the message. We'll copy it. And we're going to hit send. It's going to take one minute. Like I was saying before, you can take note of the... The format here, right? It's pretty simple. You just need this part with a colon. This would be the email address you'd like to change, followed by a space, and then the message. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's go ahead and see if we don't get the email that we just sent. Hopefully it was picked up by somebody. Aha, and here's our email. Let me zoom in here. And Pretty much here we go. Um, you can also click on these links in the email, obviously, and it will show your grid from last place you uh, reported. But it's that simple. So if you don't want to use the program, that's cool. It's pretty easy to format this yourself. Uh, if you do, the link to the GitHub page is going to be down below. You know how to use it now. And I appreciate everybody for watching. If you didn't know that, uh, I just wanted to share this because I thought this was something really cool that I didn't know. So hopefully you all enjoyed it as well. I'm sure you guys have been following along on the channel, but if you haven't, I did launch a Discord last week. If you'd like to join, the link's going to be down below for that. And other than that, I appreciate everybody watching. 73 to you.